Mitt Romney versus Barack Obama is the third video on the subject of the U.S. elections for a president in 2012. In the first video, Republican elections for a USA president 2012, Mitt Romney emerges as a clear winner against all his Republican opponents. In the second video, Meet Meet, the USA President 2012, a strong case was built to indicate that Romney will become the president. The question is when? In an attempt to answer this question, we will look at a 484-letter matrix. It will give us a clear indication as to when, the, at the earliest, he is destined to be the president of the USA. There is no such Hebrew year that corresponds exactly to year 2012. The Hebrew year that we will soon look at first covers about three months in 2011 and nine months in 2012. In Meet Meet, the USA President 2012, only 70 letters were used as a matrix as shown here. The matrix included the name Meet, Romney, and the day and day of the month of Mitt Romney's birthday in the Jewish calendar, which is in fact the 20th month of Adar. The codes will be very specific about Romney's rise to power. We will have to look at several explanations of the term from 2012, and appreciate that they are all correct. The matrix starts at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 9, letter 46, and ends at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 17, and it spans 484 letters. The main term is, and the month of January, a present. Romney began his climb to power in the Hebrew month of Tevet, corresponding to January. What is the present? Will rule from 2012 in the future. Not the sharing of a letter between the two terms indicating a strong bond, making the two words a sentence. Once again, we see the present term. And the new term says, for me, a present is the step. The step to rule is a present. In the month of January, the step was taken. There is a connection between the two present terms. One refers to a present as of a specific time. The other refers to the step. The specific time, the present from the 2012 and January, the step. The year and month are associated by their prefaces from a year and, and a month. The three terms from 2012 and he will rule, and for me a present the step, all share the same letter shin at the center of the matrix. The two terms, Romney and for me a present the step, share the same letter yud at the left center of the matrix. Sharing of the letter is telling us that me is Romney. The interconnection between the terms has been established. The message is from 2012 and the month of January, a present for me, Romney, as a present is the step a step to and will rule. 
So, a myth will rule in 2012. But what will be the sign of his title? In the previous video, Meet Meet, the USA President 2012, we saw the connection between Romney and the term a fitting president. Now, in a slightly larger matrix, we find that Meet is also associated with the title president. And the title? Former president. Oh, the title is for Meet. Title president. And the title? Former president. Oh, the title is for Meet. Title president. From 2012, we are looking now at another futuristic term which says Romney rise up, pleasant as a leader. Specifically, Romney will begin his current ascent in January, from January 2012. Note that the sharing of the letter bet of both terms binding them together. The main term of this matrix states from 2012. The Romney rise up term indicates future as well as the blessings to Romney that we are about to see. The blessings by the virtue of sharing letters with the Romney term appear to be addressed to Romney who will become a leader or a head. Bless all the work of your hand. You will lend many nations. And the master of the universe will make you his head. You shall be above only. Let us look at the promise to Romney to be a president in another way. Notice the letters that are common to the pairs of terms. A fitting president, he, the master of the universe, will favor. And in the middle, the term meet appears. Notice the connection of last term with this term with the letter he, as indicated with the large arrow. And this term here is, and a president you will be from 2012. Again, a future indication of you will be from 2012. This is just a repetition of the term to show the connections between previous and next terms. And he will rule from 2012. So, when will Mitt Romney become a president? Do the codes tell us when? To get a bigger picture, let us look at a bigger picture. We started with a small matrix of 70 letters. We were just looking now at a matrix of 484 characters. And now we look at a much bigger matrix of close to 4,000 letters. The three matrices have the same center and each larger matrix contains all the terms in the smaller matrix. The matrix is bigger and the terms are longer. We will look now at terms that are 10, 20 and up to 40 letters. The new terms specify the election date by year, month and day and make more statements about Bit Romney, Barack Obama and Newt Gingrich who appeared second best in the previous video by the code he will beat them. At the end of the video in annexes A and B we will examine table headings and R values. Let us now examine some of those longer terms. We are about to shed much more light on the term for me year 5,772 in the Hebrew calendar or approximately year 2012. The matrix now narrows everything down. It defines that it is during 2012. It tells us that it is from the two Hebrew years 5,772 and 
and year 5,773. It is very important to notice from year so-and-so and year so-and-so. Those two specified Hebrew calendar years can only cover year 2012. Year 5,772 covers a little more than eight months of year 2012. And year 5,773 covers the end of 2012. More important, the title president to meet Romney will be awarded in year 5,773, which narrows it down to some time between mid-September 2012 and December 31st, 2012. The third extended second term says a year 5,773 for the sign or the title of president. Therefore, the third term tells us that the title will be awarded at the end of 2012, where the exact date can be argued. Is it the official election date or the day after when the votes are tabulated, or after the recount, or any ad later point in the legal system that establishes that and now the president takes his office? Interesting enough, there is the legal question of is a president-elect a real president yet? We have seen a shorter version of this term, Romney, the super pleasant as a majority prepare or as a leader prepare. The term has another meaning. It is an encouragement telling him Romney rise up to the occasion as a pleasant leader prepare. The term can be looked upon in various positive ways as the second word can mean super or rise up. The fourth can mean as a leader or as a majority. The fifth last term can mean prepare or honest. However, all the various interpretations are only positive implications to Romney as a president of the USA. Therefore, these two or three terms are really suggesting that from Hebrew years 5,772 to 5,073, something will happen, and Mitt Romney has to be ready. We just saw the first and the last terms as shown here. The middle term is longer here and elaborates on the title that Mitt will have in 2013. It spells out Mitt will have a president title. The first term tells us that the title will come in 2013. And the third term tells us that Mitt will not need the Mr. sign or title. The first term goes very well with the next two. A suitable president he will favor and you will be a president. Also, a suitable president he will favor and he will rule. The whole process of becoming a president will begin in 2012. At that time, the master of the universe will favor a president. We already saw the interrelationship between the terms earlier in the video. Not the sharing of the letters between terms. By the virtue of sharing letters, the terms combine to give the message. From 2012, he will favor a fitting president and he will rule and you will be a president. The matrix states that the next president will not be a Democrat, sign of a donkey. The statement says, humble a donkey. Therefore, 
It has to be a Republican. Let's have a close look at some of those very long terms that favor Mitt Romney as a president. Why does Mitt need a mister? Squash cares the mister. Squash. This term can be seen in two different ways. Strength protection from 5th November will bring him up. The second version. Strength their protection on 5th November will bring him up. The sharing of the letter Mem and interconnection of the terms tells us that Mitt will not need the title Mister with the strength from November 5th, it will bring him to a status of president. Here we see three terms intersecting. The first term you mingled in a U.S. test, Mitt Romney. The second term, and he will bless you in the country that your Lord, Master of the Universe, gave you. Here we see that while Mitt Romney mingled, he was able to appeal to their heart. To their heart, in 5,772. The sharing of the letter bet of the three terms tell us that the master of the universe will bless me in the country, the USA, which was under a process of testing who will be the next president, and meet will win their hearts in 2012. We saw this term before from a president or the title is for meat. Reducing the previous term, we get the new term, a fitting president. Removing a couple of letters and changing direction, we get the term, the man is for him. This was already seen in the 70 letter matrix. It was pointed out that the man in the Bible refers to a very important person. In this matrix, it even coincides with the term president. In the previous video, the question was raised as to who is for whom. The presentation suggested that it goes both ways. However, we are about to witness an elaboration on the issue in the 484 letter matrix. The point is now made very clear. The man is acceptable for him, with a capital H, as a fitting president, and the man accepts him and his ways. For him is the man means the master of the universe approves the man. The term and the man is for him means and the man believes in the master of the universe. But the term is longer, with more detail. Again, it can be understood in two ways, both directions. The term is, and the man is for him, perfect, innocent. It can mean, one, the man is found perfect by him, the master of the universe, and also, the man is honest with him, with the master of the universe. So far, we are still in the 484 letter matrix. Let's look at the bigger picture for confirmation. In this bigger matrix, we can see the term and the man is for him perfect innocent. It appears twice at the top of the matrix and at the bottom of the matrix. The two black arrows show the beginning of each term. And in blue in the middle, we see a fitting president and the man is for him perfect as a fitting president. We just saw the top term twice in the matrix. We are about to see the second term below. They are almost the same, but in the first sentence the word in red describes the man, while in the second sentence it describes this is. This is finished. What is finished? The man. We will see the entire term 
in the matrix on the left later on. Let us look now only at a portion of it at the bottom. Note that the word this, ze, is a word common to both terms. Also the letter valv is common to both terms. This first term, which is part of a long term, states this one, his heart is scorched. And the second term explains why. For him, this man is finished. We will soon look at that 40 letter term that will reveal the identity of the man. We've seen many Mit and Romney positive terms indicating success. It is my impression that we are now going to see negative terms in relation to Mitt Romney's two main opponents. Romney's main opponent before November 2012 seems to be Newt Gingrich. President Barack Obama appears to be the Democratic candidate. We will now examine three Newt Gingrich and three Barack Obama terms. Both men are going to be identified by name or their birth dates by year and or by the Hebrew day of the month and month of birth. Here we see two of the Gingrich terms. The first one says, for me, year 5703, oh, he cursed, where he can refer to Gingrich or to the master of the universe. In the term, me, 5703 refers to me that was born on year 5703. That was the date on which Newt Gingrich was born. The second term, my friend, a rebellion. Who is for you, Newt? To me, this indicates dropping support. To support the idea of a drop-in support, we have the term, you will not succeed. Newt, you will not succeed. Based on the term, woe for Newt, in my first video, and these three videos here, it's an indication that from 5,772 to 5,773, Newt will not succeed in the bid to become the President of the United States. The Barack Obama terms all indicate defeat. They twist and turn around one another and dominate the top third of the matrix. Let us look at the presentation of these three terms complete with the subject term of the matrix from 2012. This is an overview of the three President Obama terms. We will now zero in on each one of them. This is an incredible 40-letter term that is modeled on the classic prophet Jeremiah who expresses grief. I recall learning this verse by heart as an elementary school student. It follows the same sequence of expressing grief describing first the pain in my bowels and continuing with the heartache. Let us see the term. No, my bowels. That one that exit, 1961, is the one. His heart is scorched and came the sorrow, your mighty men, your nation. Your mighty men being meet Romanis the master of the universe's choice to lead his nation. It is a fascinating study to compare the statement made in Jeremiah chapter 4 verses 19 here in red to the term in this matrix that we've just looked at here in blue. In Jeremiah, my bowels, my bowels, I reef in pain. In the matrix, no, my bowels expressing pain. In Jeremiah, my heart, my heart moaneth within me. In the term, his heart is scorched, exactly the same meaning. And finally, in Jeremiah, 
I cannot hold my peace. In the last term we saw, and came the sorrow, bitterness, distress, no peace like that. Changing the spacings between the letters, we get a slightly different message about the pain. This time there is suggestion and emphasis on MR, Mitt Romney, who won, is the cause. Looking once again at Jeremiah, we see the pain, my bowels, my bowels. My heart, my heart. And the reason? Woe to Barak O, tailing, dead beat. The Barak O term dominates the top of the matrix. The top representing the past, the center presents the present, and the bottom the future. Obama represents the past, while Mitt Romney represents the present and future. Referring to Barack Obama's birth date, we have the following last term. 22nd in the month of Av and get out. Whoa! Out of the race, out of the race to become president again of the United States. Let's look now at Ron Paul and at an interesting blessing that he seems to be receiving here in the Matrix. The, the blessing goes along the line, blessed you are in coming and blessed you are in going. But before looking deeper into it, let's recall what we've just seen. We just saw the last Barack Obama birthday term, the 22nd of the month of Av, and the Interesting conclusion, the bowing out. Let's look at the similarity in the Hebrew day of the month and the month of the year of both men. President Barack Obama was born on the 22nd of the month of Av, while Ron Paul was born on the 21st of the month of Av. A similar birth date and a similar message. From the end of year 2012, it is time for both of them to bow out. You may pause the video to study the following three annexes. In this annex, I outline the headings for the tables that were used throughout the video. Here we have information on the R value as used as a tool to develop a better matrix. And finally, a list of the longest terms used in this matrix. Note the high R values, the odds against finding such terms.